Great, thank you. So, uh, first of all, uh, I want to introduce Leonard the Lion Bondu with a record of 31 0 and 7 knockouts. Uh, Bondu represented Italy in the 2000 Olympic Games. He is making his United States debut and Showtime debut. He is the current European and Commonwealth champion. Uh, and he's also highly ranked, number three in the WBC, number four in the BA and IBF. So uh, let's give him a warm welcome and have him say a few words. Leonard, can you say a few words, please? All right. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be here, and uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy I have the chance to to compete in, in America, where every every boxer wants to to compete, and uh, I'm. I'm ready to, to put on a good show and uh, thank everybody for organizing this and Keith Elman too to, for uh, giving me the opportunity and uh, uh, I want to get to be known uh, over there too, you know, we will box over in Europe too, we will do some good pretty boxing, so uh, let's see, alright, I'm ready for December 15th, thank you very much. Great, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, now the world champion, uh, Keith, one time Thurman with a record of 23-0. and 21 knockouts. Uh, he's the current champion. Uh, he's one of the most exciting fighters, biggest punchers in boxing today. And in his spare time, he wrestles alligators down in Florida. Keith, can you say a few words? Uh, yeah, it's my pleasure. Um, thank you. Thank you, everybody who's on this call. It's my pleasure to be here. I'm truly looking uh, forward to getting back in the ring December 13th. I look forward to the challenge that Bundu is offering uh, as, an, as an Olympian, as a European boxer, um, as a guy who switches. It's a, it's a great fight. Um, two undefeated fighters going up against each other. It's been a while since I've been back in the ring, and I'm eager to uh, perform back under the bright lights. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, operator, go ahead and open it up for questions, please. Thank you. If you would like to ask a question or have a comment, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. If this will push your, your hand is raised. Please ask your question when prompted. Press the pound sign to lower your hand. Star 1 on your telephone keypad now. Okay. While we're waiting for the first call, um, Leonard, I need you to walk away from the people in your background because it's very hard to hear and I can hear There's nobody. There's nobody. Is that not you? Okay. Somebody else. Alessandro, are you on the call? Can you, like... Mute your phone. All right, let's go ahead, and if there's any other background noise, just make it clean, you guys, so they can hear you. Thank you. Go ahead. Our first question comes from Mike Woods with Sweet Science. Hi, guys. Thanks for taking the time to do the call. Question is for Keith. Keith, so good to uh, be seeing you back in the ring. Uh, I get the sense from you that you are a guy who would fight once a month if, if you could. Um, I'm curious, why have you only fought you know, once this year, and, and are we going to be seeing you more busy next year? Yeah, you know, boxing is... Um Boxing is boxing. You never know what you're going to get. Um, this year, uh, my body did not allow me to fight three times as we planned. I had to do a layoff um, in camp. My left shoulder wasn't feeling great. I went through um, six weeks of physical therapy, um, and then we, we continued to do the advice that the doctor said. It's feeling great. You guys know how much I love um, to throw that left hook of mine. And... Um, I'm just really looking forward to getting back. I was, I'm was i a little disappointed. I had to uh, brush off some of the dust, but December 13th, we're back in action, and I'm excited. All right, and this is a very, very important question, something that I get, get asked all the time. There's a couple Twitter handles for you, man. Are any of them real? And if there is a real one, what's your real Twitter handle? Uh, the real one is... Thurman Jr. There was, there was so many out there. I put in, I put in my middle initial, and then when I when I opened up my first account, and then I believe that's the one we still running. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
you. Our next question comes from Lem Satterfield with TheRingTV.com. Okay, my first question could be for Leonard. Uh, Leonard, I asked uh, Lenny Potai earlier uh, in the call if he, you know, obviously he's fight, you're fighting on your American soil. Do you have any, what, what comes to mind when you think of fighting, you know, on American soil for the, as far as your concern? Judges, the atmosphere, and how do you, plan to deal with the time difference? You know, will you arrive early? What? Yeah, well, um, I'm very, I'm very excited to, to perform at the American Soul, of course, and uh, for the for the time the time difference, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be arriving, I'll be arriving tomorrow evening, so um, uh, we have, we have about 10 days to, to, to adapt. And uh, for the experience, uh, I, I, I was, I, I didn't fight, but, but I was at the, the Mayweather fight at the MGM Las Vegas. I saw what it was like being there. I know I was a, a, a spectator, but um, I I already know, 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 know what I'm, I'm going to, to, to get. So, and then plus, I've already fought in uh, outside of Italy. You know, I've fought in Germany, I've fought in, in England twice, uh, which is a, a big, uh, big show. So, I, I kind of uh, know what I'm going to. I'm very excited, and I, I know I'm going to put on a good show. Which, which Mayweather fight did you attend? The first last one with, with with Maidana, the, the last one. The, this August, I was I was there. I was, uh, with the Maidana fight, yes. Yeah. Okay. And then my last so question, my last question for you is: obviously, you just celebrated your uh, your fortieth birthday, which you know is you know that means you're getting up there. Um, what what can you tell your fans uh, or you know spectators about your age? And you know you are taking on a guy who is really getting better and better every fight. So you're not coming in this age against a marginal opponent. You're coming in against a guy that, by all accounts, is the best in the division. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm going against a very tough fighter, very good fighter. But um, the problem is that I actually, I actually don't have any problem with my age. I feel, I feel just a bit, maybe even fitter than I was 10 years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really getting better and better with, with each of my, my fights. So, for me, it, it's, I mean, I've been reading all the bosses that uh, keep so much bunk fighters, 40 year old guy. But to me, I'm, it's not me. That 40 year old guy is not me. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, um, I already said, told it said before. I feel, I feel as young as he is. I mean, I, I, I still, I still do my things. I don't, I, I don't think like a, uh, like an, uh, like an old person. I mean, I have, I have wife, my wife and kids, but I still, I still go to the gym every day. I feel, I feel fit and I'm, I'm prepared. I know it's gonna be tough, maybe my, my, my toughest fight, but um, but I'm, I'm ready to go to give it all. You see, you see this as a brawl or a boxing match or a little bit of both? Well, uh, you know, um, given uh, his power, you know, I have to, I have to adapt. I have to use uh, my my intelligence, my my tactics. I have experience. I uh, I boxed pretty well, you know. But so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I'm very I'm a very instinctive guy. So I, I don't like planning fights too much. I, I, when I get to in, in the ring, I adapt. So, um, of course, I'm not going to trade punches with, with him, uh, but, uh, you know, I can I'll adapt. I'll, do, uh, I'll put on a good show, for sure. And then, thank you so much. I have one question for uh, <clears throat> Keith. Keith, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Keith, you, um, you, you've made it a point to call out Floyd Mayweather several fights back. Um, you've made it a point in the past to, you know, you called out Paul Malignaggi while he after your victories. You clearly want to be in the ring with the best guys. Having said that, this is a night on which you will be fighting on the same card as Khan and Alexander so people can compare that. You're also fighting on the same night as... As Tim Bradley and Chavez, Chavez being a guy who beat you, who you beat, um, does that raise the stakes uh, for you? Do you get, do you really feel good about the opportunity that fans can see all of you guys performing uh, on the same night and compare and contrast? 
Yeah, when you got um, that many welterweights performing at the same night, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk. You know, the um, the the Twitter and all the social medias are going to go crazy um, around midnight, you know. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just really happy to begin back in the ring. I'm really happy to um, showcase my skills and my talent once again. I'm extremely excited to be going up against an undefeated fighter who was an Olympian, who presents a European style. Um, we we seen the skills that Kel Brook brought to the table uh, when he fought Sean Porter. And it's interesting, man. Um, a lot of people in the U.S. don't know Bundu. But we know that the Europeans can box. And for him to be an Olympian, you heard him himself. He doesn't feel 40. Age is just a number to him. His last fight, he fought a young man who was 28 years old and fought him in his hometown and beat him. He, um, he is a smart boxer, intelligent fighter, and it's going to be a great fight. And overall, I do put it in my head, in the back of my mind, that not only do I want to win, but I would like to outperform every Walter Wade that steps, on, steps in the ring that night. Great answer. I appreciate luck in the fight. Thank you. Take care. And our next question comes from Sean Cross with the Boxing Insider. Hi, guys. How are you? I just have a question for, for each of you two gentlemen. And that question is this. I'll ask uh, Keith first. Have you thought about what's next, or are you just focusing on the task at hand? Um, you have a lot of you have a lot of people that uh, that see a great uh, great future ahead for you. So, are you focusing on the task at hand, or are you also looking ahead? A great future is great, but you must focus on the present because without focusing on the present, you will never get to the future. It's all the the time is now. the The bout is December thirteenth. Leonard Bundu. Um, I'm 26 years old, and I learn from every experience, and I'm truly looking forward to the challenges that he may present that night, overcoming those challenges, walking away with the victory, and moving on in my career. But first, we must perform uh, great come December 13th. Okay, thanks very much, Keith. And uh, Mr. Bundu, uh, same question for you. So it would be a big upset, and... Um and certainly uh, you would you would be the toast of several towns across the Atlantic and probably the Pacific. So have you thought about what's next, or are you just focused on what's in front of you? Well, uh, just like he said, I'm, uh, I take it one step by the time. And uh, in this uh, in this fight, of course, I'm, I'm the other dog. I have, uh, you know, I'm, uh, everybody's looking at me as, as a lamb to, 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 to be slaughtered, but um, I'm coming. I'm coming to try and, and win. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming for respect because a lot of people don't 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 give me the, the respect I deserve. So yeah, I mean, I'm coming to prove to people that I I'm a, I'm, I'm a top waterweight and I'm gonna give it all I have. And uh, and I really appreciate Keith's words that he, he knows that. He, box too over, over here in Europe too and uh, uh, we, we, we already have some some European champions that became world champions so you know I mean um, I'm just looking one step at a time of course and then after that I'll, I'll be I'll be ready of course to fight anybody else but of course now I'm looking for December 13th uh, and now I'm going to give it all I have great well thank you both and uh, be safe in there and uh, let's hope for a great fight thank you thank you that's the last question for this group. Eric, if you want to wrap it up and say goodbye, and uh, any last comments from uh, Bundu and Keith Thurman would be appreciated, and then we'll hang up. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kelly. So, uh, Leonard, if you could say uh, some closing remarks, please. Right, uh, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank all the Golden Boys, Showtime, Ali, for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank Keith for accepting me to fight, and um, yeah, I really, I really look forward to, to putting on the show on December 13th. Thank you all very much. Great, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, Keith, if you can please close uh, with uh, some comments. Yeah, thank you, um, everybody that are tuned into this. You know. Thank you, Golden Boy, Showtime, Al Heyman. This is a terrific card. I'm happy to be back in the ring. I'm happy to be the co-main event. Um, thank you, Bundu. I'm looking forward to a terrific performance, a great clean fight. I am best of luck to everybody. I'll see you December 13th. 
great. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much to the fighters. I want to thank all the media that was on the call. Kelly, thank you. Uh, the operator as well. Alessandro, thank you for your help. Uh, once again, uh, very well. Saturday, Saturday, December 13th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. I want to thank Showtime. I want to thank uh, the sponsors involved, Corona Extra, AT&T, Mexico, uh, Live It, Believe It, uh, also the MGM for hosting us. Once again, tickets are on sale. This is a hot ticket. Tickets are going great. Tickets are priced uh, from $50 all the way to $300 for ringside. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you there. And remember, don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. That concludes today's conference call.